All right, so the first product we will be applying is the Main Choice Prickly Pear Paradise Dry Overnight Mask. I'm gonna open the product so that you can see um, how it looks, as well as I always like to smell the product. This smells so good. The product is very soft, it's not heavy at all. It's really lightweight. It didn't feel heavy holding it in my hand, but once you apply it to your hair, it does feel a little bit thicker. It's a good consistency overall. So now I'm going to part my hair into little tiny sections and just apply the product section by section to make sure I spread it evenly throughout my whole head. As we know from the beginning of this video, my hair is really dirty and, and dry. <laughs> so it's important to me to get the product everywhere it's supposed to be so that it will work. I really took my time applying the product because I wanted to make sure I got it on every strand it's a really big jump to say that you can leave a mask on for 12 hours. That is very rare. Usually they tell you not to exceed an hour or 30 minutes. So I'm kind of looking forward to the results to see how this product will turn out. Then I'm gonna twist my hair just to make sure that the sections stay separated. You don't have to do this according to the directions, but it's usually easier for me to keep the parts away that I've already completed, obviously apply it to your hair and just keep going all over your whole head. I also tried to make it a point to get some on my scalp because my scalp is really dirty <laughs> and I know that this product is supposed to be used to clean as well as soften. So we will see how it works at the end. According to the directions on this product, you're supposed to apply it directly to dry, unclean hair, cover with a plastic cap, and then leave it on up to 12 hours. Now, after you will rinse it thoroughly and apply the No Poo Prickly Pear Conditioning Clean Cleanse Foam, Rinse, and Style as usual. One thing that should be mentioned with this product is that there may be some shedding because you did apply the product to completely dry and unclean hair. So I'm used to applying my products to wet hair, which was different for me for this particular product. So once it's all said and done, your hair should look something like this. You don't have to necessarily have to twist all over it. You can take it out or do whatever it is that you normally do with your hair. I am going to follow the directions and put on a plastic cap and just let it sit for any time up to 12 hours. Probably not gonna wait a whole 12 hours. It's been about six to seven hours. I rinsed off the mask and now I'm going to apply the foam. So this is the No Poo Conditioning Cleanse Foam. According to the directions, you will wet your hair thoroughly with warm water you're gonna squeeze a small amount into the palm of your hand and apply it to your scalp and your hair. And then you will allow it to sit for at least 60 seconds and you will rinse it out and then you'll follow with the leave-in conditioner. So that is what we're gonna do now. I'm applying it to my hair. My hair is soaking wet. I'm kind of rubbing it into my scalp because as we know that scalp is dirty. I really focus a lot on my scalp when I'm washing my hair. I think that's extremely important to keep, make sure your scalp gets clean, not just your hair. I did have to stop and go and re-wet different sections of my hair, like if it dried out quickly. So now that the foam has been applied to my whole head, I'm going to go and rinse it out and I will be back. So my hair feels really clean and I'm kind of surprised by that. It feels really clean all over. Like it feels like there's absolutely nothing on my hair. Like it stripped it, but it's not completely dried out. So I was pleasantly surprised with the product so far. So this is the Minty Scalp Purifying Spray. You are supposed to spray this directly onto your scalp. You can do it section by section between shampoo 
and then you will massage it gently with your fingertips. You will wipe off any excess with a clean or dry cloth or a cotton ball. You don't rinse it out and then you just style it as usual. So because I don't have to rinse it out, I'm gonna apply it at the same time that I'm applying the leave-in conditioner because I'm not really sold on the fact that the foam and the mask alone will be enough to really clean my scalp. So I applied the spray to my scalp and kind of just rubbed it in to make sure it got off any excess dirt that the foam may have left behind. So what I did was I just sprayed section by section, sprayed my scalp, rubbed it into my scalp, massaged it into my scalp. Once I got done spraying the scalp purifying spray, then I went in with the leave-in conditioner to apply to my hair. So now I'm gonna apply the leave-in conditioning cream. According to the instructions on this product, after rinsing the prickly pear no poo cleansing foam, you will apply a generous amount of this cream, distribute it evenly from roots to ends, and then you will style as desired. In applying the cream, I can already feel that like my hair is a little bit softer. You can tell that the leave-in conditioning cream is putting back in the moisture that the no poo cleansing foam took out. So I highly recommend that if you do decide to try this product, you, if you're going to get the foam, you absolutely need to get the leave-in conditioner so that you can put that moisture back into your hair or definitely use something after the foam to put the moisture back into your hair. And then I just repeat this process again for the whole head. Spray my scalp in one section take that same section apply the leave-in conditioning cream and then i brushed the cream through and did some big twists to just separate the sections that i had already done So by the time I got done applying the scalp spray and the leave-in conditioner, um, I took a look at my scalp just to see if there was any dirt or residue there. It didn't, it looked really clean. The minty spray, you can feel it kind of tingle. So it felt really clean and really fresh, but I wanna give the product a couple of days so that I can really see if it actually did clean, not just my hair, but also my scalp. And then I'll come back and let you guys know how I feel. So it's the next day, my hair is pretty much dry from the leave-in conditioner. That's all that you see on it right now. It's completely dry and all that's on it are these main choice prickly pear, pear products. So it's soft, it has um, definitely a little bit of moisture. I'm still don't know about the scalp just yet, I'm scratching it a little bit, but you know, we'll give it the rest of the day to see what happens. But so far, so good. The product did work as it said that it would. My hair feels really clean. It's really easy to comb out and detangle. So we'll see how it goes. Hey everybody. So it has been two days since I used the product and I wanna have a very candid conversation with you about my first reactions to each thing in the line, how it worked out, um, if I like it, if I would buy it again, if I think that you may like it or you would buy it again, but as always, this is just my opinion, it's completely up to you. So the very first thing that I used was the mask. I loved the mask. The mask was really good. It was really, really moisturizing. And 12 hours, you don't usually see that on any mask bottle, but you know, the main choice said, just do it. Go to sleep with the mask on. So, okay, if you say so, why not? You didn't even have to leave it on for the full 12 hours. I think I only left it on for like six to seven hours maybe, but it was really good in that after like two hours, you can already feel it start to soften your hair up. It feels a little weird at first because you're doing something on dry hair. You may have some shedding. So obviously that's something that you will worry about, but Overall, the mask was good. I would definitely use it again. The mask did what it was supposed to do. So then you apply the foam to, and that's supposed to like clean the hair as well as the scalp. I felt like the foam cleaned my hair, but I don't feel like the foam cleaned my scalp. You know how you can just feel when your hair is clean? It was like that after I washed it. I did use the minty scalp purifying spray with the leave-in conditioner 
because I knew that my hair was not clean. <laughs> now it says try these products on unclean hair, so I did. But I knew that like my scalp would need a little bit more attention than my hair. And so I used the Minty Scalp Purifying Spray. I did like it a lot. I think it's really good. And this is if you just want to try it in general, you can buy this by itself. You don't necessarily need to use another product from this line after it. It does feel very minty on your scalp once you spray it. I guess that's what they put into the name. That would be kind of obvious, right? Okay, so the spray is good. The leave-in conditioner on this and it did really well. Honestly, your hair is really soft afterwards. It's really manageable. After using the mask and the foam and the leave-in conditioner, my hair did feel very clean. It did feel um, soft and it was clarified. My scalp, however, was a completely different story. Now, my scalp, I think, is drier than most. That's why I didn't want to just give you a review the same day that I did the wash. I wanted to let it like sit for a couple of days to see, hey, do I really like this product? Do I not? Probably like the next day I realized that like my scalp was still dirty. So I ended up having to wash my hair over with actual shampoo, um, which is fine because that let me know that my hair was dirty and I had no business trying this product that should be used in between shampoos. That's where my opinion comes from when it comes to when you should use the product versus when you shouldn't use the product. Definitely get the mask. I think the mask is worth all of the money. Um, the clarifying foam, meh, I can take it or leave it. Uh, the leave-in conditioner, meh, I can take it or leave it. I did like the minty scalp purifying spray a lot main choice comes out with a new line every five minutes it can get a bit expensive so if you're in the store and you're trying to determine like hey i want to try out this line but i don't want to buy everything like i don't want to spend the whole 65 dollars then i would say you don't need this minty scalp purifying spray because realistically you can try out the products and get a full opinion on them with just the mask the foam and the leave-in conditioner but i would say this if you're not going to do them all then don't be surprised if you don't get the reaction that you want or if you don't get the results that you want. So if you're gonna try the whole line, you need to try everything. You need to get the mask, you need to get the foam, and then you need to get the leave-in conditioner. You cannot do the mask and just the foam because the leave-in conditioner puts the moisture back into your hair that the foam took out of. I did like the line but I would probably use it more for a co-washing kind of situation. It's not something that I would do for my regular shampoo routine. Now, what I would do is use the mask as kind of like a pre-poo before I wash my hair. I think it would be really good for that and that's so easy. Some people already pre-poo their hair the night before anyway. So if you use this mask the night before, essentially you can wake up the next day and wash your hair with no issues. I know that like you guys are probably so accustomed to the main choice coming out with so many different products. You don't know which ones to get, which ones to not get. This is one of the ones I highly suggest you at least try. Try the mask, it's really good. Do it for more so like a co-washing situation. Definitely not for a situation like I did where I had not washed my hair in a week. That is my humble opinion on this product.